Welcome to the Try and Seal Operator Qualified Training. Today we're going to train you guys to effectively seal a live active pinhole. Uh, tools necessary to conduct a repair it's going to be a handheld wire brush, clean rag, access to water, lead detection solution, as well as a UV stable outer coating, and your Tri Seal repair kit. First step in the procedure is to determine the, the, the location of the leak. Use your operating procedure for leak detection or leak detection soap. In this case, we've got a pinhole leak located just above 12 o'clock. Verify that you don't have any additional leaks at the 6 o'clock section. Identify we've got one leak. Usually you use your clean cloth just to wipe off the soap. Use your wire brush. Remove any loose coatings, flake, contamination from the surface of the repair. We recommend going at three inches on either side of the repair to provide a clean surface for the adhesion of the tri seal repair kit. Use your emery cloth. We are 68 degrees around the pipe itself, moving any contamination, paint, rust. So we've got a nice clean surface for the Triton Seal putty to bond to. So we're roughing the surface. Your solvent wipe to remove any grease or further contamination from the repair site. First pair of protective gloves. Well, on the gloves prior to putting them on, helps prevent them from ripping. Remove your packaging of your pressure sealing tape, as well as your packaging for your try and seal putty. Recommend pulling the pressure sealing tape packaging off first. That's ready once you properly mix the putty. Remove the end caps and the protective film from the try and seal putty. For a pinhole, you need a quarter inch ball of putty. I'm going to knead the putty till it's uniform in color and streak free till it achieves a dark green consistency. Putty is easily mixed when it's above 50 degrees and applied within the first three minutes once you've achieved that dark green color. Proper mixture is a dark green consistency, streak free. Should be applied within the first three minutes. I'm going to need about half of that amount to make a quarter inch ball. Place the ball just above or below the repair. Anchor your pressure sealing tape just outside of the repair. First six inches of the tape has an adhesive strip. To hold it in place. Once anchored, pull the max tension and go directly over the putty, forcing it into the hole. Each additional wrap will provide further compression of the putty plugging the hole. So the concept is to use the pressure sealing tape to force the putty into the hole, 
which is going to seal the leak. Remove any excess putty around the edges. Just max tension. Focusing directly over the hole itself. We have good pipe on both sides, so we want to focus just directly over the damaged hole. The end of the pressure sealing tape, there's an adhesive strip. It's going to hold it in place. Once you applied 100% of the pressure sealing tape directly over the repair, use your standard leak detection method. In this case, we're using leak soap. Allow the leak soap to work in. Ensure that you seal the leak. Use your cloth rag just to wipe off any excess soap. Get your second pair of protective gloves. Again, I recommend blowing in the gloves to help prevent them from ripping. You need your fresh water and your Trident Seal outer composite wrap. Once open, the materials are reacting with the humidity in the air, cannot be repackaged. Fill the pouch completely with water and allow the composite to sit for 20 seconds. Ensure that the pouch has enough water so that 100% of the materials are exposed to the water itself creating the chemical reaction. Chemical reaction will release a CO2 gas, carbon dioxide, non-hazardous, so you'll see some bubbling. Remove the Trident Seal composite wrap and apply just outside of the repair. Now apply the materials in the exact same direction that you apply the pressure sealing tape. Make sure you get that first wrap on there tight. I'm going to go directly over the repair, pulling tight. Focusing the composite over the pinhole, applying pressure. You might see some bubbling. That's the reaction of the, the resin to the water. Apply 100% of the outer trite seal composite wrap. See I'm pulling tight, it's going to pull the materials that conforms around the repair. Hundred percent of the materials, see some bubbling of the chemical reaction caused by the water. Remove your gloves, apply your compression film in the exact same direction you applied pressure sealing tape, composite wrap, further tightening the repair, holding the resin in place, and allowing the CO2 gas to escape. Do two full wraps, and then perforate with a handheld wire brush going allow the CO2 gas to escape and lock the resin inside during the curing process. Within five minutes you can remove the compression film and coat with your UV stable protection. Once you've waited five minutes, remove the compression film. I'm 
coat with the UV stable outer coating. Matching the repair. Providing UV stability. That concludes the Trident Seal Pinhole Operator Qualified Training. Thank you.